The wait was indeed long, and the last of this ceremony in Cameroon dates back to January 2015 after the bar exam of 2014. This explains the emotions from across the board at the very high court premises in Bonanjo Douala. Today has been very exciting. I am very humbled and privileged to finally have the ability to be able to practice law or do as an advocate in training. Beyond emotions, some of these advocates came in with clearly defined objectives driven by noble motives. The case of Honorable, now Honorable Barrister Angela Gerard outlines. My aim is to defend the less privileged. Coming to the Cameroon Bar Association is not about money. I don't look at it in that direction. Because, like I said, I am coming in to defend the rights of the less privileged. You will bear with me that I've been doing this, if you see the advent of the Anglophone crisis, getting children back to school. Now, as a lawyer, I will be able to defend them, those who cannot defend themselves. So I'm coming to the Bar Association because I want to defend the vulnerable. And I advise my younger ones also that don't put it in mind that you are coming to be a lawyer to look for money. Be a lawyer to be a role model and defend the underprivileged. Money can always come after. Beyond the burning desire to defend the underprivileged, the Honorable Member of Parliament says his knowledge of the law will help him in the better evaluation of bills and the voting of laws at the Cameroon National Assembly. A desire and objective corroborated by the message of the Bar Council President, Barista Mba Eric Mba. The bar by this is stronger because our strength lies in our numbers. Let them dedicate themselves to their training. Let them hold tight to ethics of the profession. Let them not allow themselves to be distracted by the very peripheral signs of money and every other thing. There are 649 advocates in training from across the literal region who took their oath at the ceremony that held in the very high court premises in Bonanjo Douala.